didn't go to church today. I'm going to start going back, though. But I'm going to tell you all something. There's a lot of bullshit preachers out here. But for the ones that's good, you know, God bless them, whatever. You know, that's good, right? But it's a lot of niggas running game, right? I got to hurry up. She didn't give me, but she said I got 3.7 minutes. But I went to a church recently, right? Bullshit preacher, right? I'm gonna give you a depiction of what this motherfucker said to a lady, right? So he, this was like a Pentecostal, you know, holiness church, right? Whatever, laying hands, prophesying. So I guess he prophesied to the lady, right? So he calls the lady up, right? Calls her up. Now, I'm peeping game, right? Calls the lady up, sister, come up. Right, this is, my, this is my preacher boy, old school preacher boy. Come up here, sister. <laughs> now, I peeped the nigga. He said to the lady, with that finger, with that eye, right? The eagle eye. Your name is Terry, isn't it? I seen the nigga prior to that asking the deacon what was her name on the fourth list. So he fucking up already, because I peeped this guy. Your name is Terry. <laughs> It's fucked up. It's 2019. It's fucked up. They run again. God told me to tell you. Do my God, serious. God said, when you get that paycheck on the next pay period, <laughs> go down to Somerset. <laughs> go to the Louis Vuitton store. <laughs> Grab your Louis Vuitton shoes. You bring that to the prophet. Then you go over to the Gucci store and you go get that pouch that go across your chest and you bring that to me. God is going to bless you immensely, mightily, <laughs> 1,000 fold. Uh -oh. Not 100, 1,000. The Bible said 30, 60, 100. This nigga said 1,000. He put sugar on the top. He put caramel on the top of that motherfucker. 1,000 fold. In the name of Jesus, he laid hands on the lady. She fall out. Right? The old lady that agree with everything the preacher say in the back, the old, the old mother of the church, bless her Lord. Whatever he say, he can say anything. Bless her Lord. Right? I'm like, this shit is bullshit. I, I, I can't deal with this. So, I, you know, I left. Whatever. I mean, hey, anyway. I'll go back one of these days, real soon. I gotta take a sip of my drink. <laughs> this shit is hard, y'all rough. Y'all like me? You supposed to be funny, nigga. <laughs> Hold on, give me a minute. <laughs> Who goes to the gym? Anybody go to the gym? Anybody work out? Here, here. Y'all work out? Yeah. Keep working out. Any ladies work out? There ain't no ladies ain't saying shit. They like, nigga, yeah, I work out nigga with this drink and this food. And talking this shit. Y'all work out running that mouth. <laughs> Fellas. Keep working out. It's an old nigga in the gym. And this nigga need to be outlawed. I'm tired of this nigga. I'm tired of seeing this nigga. So, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Him. I'm tired of this old butt naked nigga, the old butt naked nigga that want to have a conversation with you in the gym. Ken, you know what I'm talking about. He butt naked in the motherfucker want to have a whole conversation with you. Talk about how he used to be a coach in, 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 in 69. And, how they won the championship in 70. He just walk up on you, just dig out this. Hey, what's going on? Hey, man, you got me up. I thought you was my nephew. You got me up. Dig out, just. I thought you was my nephew. Wiping himself off, talking to you. Yeah, you know, I used to coach on the east side and southeastern, and we won the championship in 71. <laughs> yeah, that's when uh, 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 James Jones and Earl, Earl Smith was playing, and we played the Iceman, and then we won the state. Man, that's some, that's, some sus, that's some suspect shit. Get your suspect ass away from me. You trying to get me in the butt naked club. You trying to recruit a nigga in the old man butt naked club. Yes, I'm sorry. 
that I'm saying, I'll be on her. Lord of my heart. <laughs> okay, what about the old nigga, though, that always got that wisdom, that knowledge for you, the other old nigga, right? He trying to drop jewels on you. And at the end of the shit he say, he look at you and say, it's okay, big dog. Am I right about it? He look at you, yeah. Am I right about it? With your bunk ass out, am I right about it? You might be, nigga, but you might not be. Right? So he'll send you with some shit like this. Uh, knowledge <laughs> is wisdom that you already previously prior had before. Look at you. Am I right about it? <laughs> There you go. But look, so I, you like, out of respect, yeah, you right about it. But in your mind, you like, get your dumb ass the fuck away from me. <laughs> Smelling like brute by Fabergé. Get the fuck on, old man. You know, but you can't say it out loud. You say it in your mind, though. <laughs> Let me tell y'all a quick story. I'm traumatized from my youth. I still go to therapy to this day for this shit. Let me give y'all a scenario. 1987, the bathroom, the edge of the tub, right? I don't about it. I got to think. Come on, come on. Oh, somebody know what I'm talking about. The edge, no, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. You ain't too long. The edge of the tub. Now, y'all got to raise your hand on this because it's a lot of seasoned motherfucking mature pussies in this bitch and y'all need to respond to this. Edge of the tub, the motherfucking douche pouch or the fucking disposable bottle with the white spout on it about this long with, uh, with 17,000 holes in it. Who had the, who had the pouch? <laughs> oh, for shit. Who had the pouch? Raise your hand, who had the pouch? Y'all see these mature ladies in here. Okay, who had the who had the disposable with the white spout? Ain't nobody. Y'all bullshitting. <laughs> no, not you. Maybe not you. Maybe not you. But they bullshit. But then rest of them bullshit, not you, cause you look like you got your gun. You look like you got your 22 in your purse. I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> so look, I'm young, I ain't know what it was. I'm playing with the motherfucker, right? I'm singing. But she had to use that bitch. At least she had to. She used that bitch about two weeks straight. Cause that bitch used to be on the tub for a long time. I'm outside with niggas putting the bitch up to get a simple. Nigga, break yourself. Run <laughs> your shit, nigga. Pussy like a ball Pussy residue all over me. I didn't know. Be an old man used to come around, right? Uh -uh. So I said, damn, y'all was keeping all y'all. All y'all was keeping y'all was keeping that motherfucker nice and tight and fresh for that old motherfucker with them two first names. Uh -huh. so, you got it. That nigga used to jit me at the supermarket, right? Nigga name was Nathaniel Terry. <laughs> Take your mama home and 
drop your mom off, you hear that nigga say, that nigga, that nigga almost whisper that shit. Yeah, I'll be over to the house later on. Drop your mom off, right? But anyway. Now listen, on the back end of that shit, on the back end. I hate to cut you off. Oh no, how many minutes I got? You did like three. No, that's a little shit. Did I hear him keep doing that? Finish the joke. Finish the joke. Oh, real quick, that's it. On the back end, y'all was jacking, y'all was jacking, I'm gonna say jacking off. Y'all was hitting that motherfucker with that motherfucker, with that nappy pussy, right? Watching that late 70, early 80 nasty movie. With the nigga with the motherfucking brown mustache, white boy with the brown mustache, hitting the pussy all up close on the pussy off rhythm. Oh yeah, give me the pussy. Oh. Remember that 19, late 70, early 80 nasty movie music? Oh yeah, give me the pussy. That's what motherfucker used to they used to jack off like this, ain't eh? <laughs> With one leg up. Get that motherfucker. That's my time. I gotta go. I know y'all.